these are quite interesting events, these sorts of things, because you have an image in your mind, probably, of what each of us represents and what we're going to say. And there's a whole load of supporting bollocks that comes behind me. Um, and I'm just going to very quickly put it into context. I've served in the military for 40 years, so now I look completely like Captain Mannering in your mind. <laughs> I did 22 different jobs in that time, which is far too many, if you think, about continuity, but it produced an extraordinary amount of variety. Those jobs varied from the sort of thing that Kate's been talking about, where you're effectively putting the widgets into the machine with a bunch of other people, and you're making sure that they do it properly, to, in the middle of my career, I found myself as the, advisor, the sort of strategic advisor to the president of Sierra Leone when he was trying to deal with the, Royal, the uh, Revolutionary United Front. I ended up uh, in Afghanistan as the deputy to uh, McChrystal and Petraeus at the sort of strategic international level, uh, and then the, effectively the chief operating officer of the army uh, and responsible for the military reaction to the Olympics. Now, I'm not sort of blowing smoke up myself. I'm just trying to give you a sense of what I represent when I start to speak. I'm, I'm going to try and reflect the breadth of that experience in the three principal points that I'm going to make. And I'm making them partly to provoke and partly to try to, to stimulate the way you're thinking. And my, the only other caveat, there is probably more experience in this room than I have myself. That if you were to chunk up all the experience that exists in the different parts, the different sectors that you are in, there's a heck of a lot of experience here. So, so be very wary of anything that I say and apply your own mirror to it to make sure that you're putting it in the right context. Okay, three, three big handful points military term of uh, situational understanding, situational awareness, a, a gripe I have about inputs and outputs, and then a comment on leadership, and I have never read a theoretical book on leadership. So it's entirely based on personal experience and therefore dead suspect. <laughs> um, situational understanding is the c code in the military for knowing what's going on. Uh, it 